Hi friends, Krista here. Thank you so much for stopping by Books and Jams. Today I'm going to share with you the books that I hope to read during the month of February. I was really going to attempt this year to have quite small TBRs and here it is already February and I have quite a few books to share with you today. But there are different reasons for them. There's different levels of priorities for them. So we're just going to jump right into it. First of all, we have the group read that I'm going to be hosting live chats for. This is a Christian nonfiction celebration of discipline by Richard Foster. This is a book that just explores different types of disciplines like prayer and fasting and solitude and meditation and corporate worship and a whole host of other disciplines to enhance or encourage a deeper walk with Christ. And I'm really looking forward to talking about this book with many of you who are joining in and with a handful of other booktubers on lives throughout the month of February. We will be having those lives here on my channel on Sunday afternoons, 4 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in joining in, there is still time to grab your book from the library, get it from Kindle, get it from your books, your local bookstore, wherever you want to pick it up from. I hope that you do join us for reading Celebration of Discipline, but that's definitely going to be read throughout the month. The other book that I'm definitely going to read in February is Agatha Christie's The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. I'm really excited to read another Agatha Christie. And this is the book that was picked for my Patreon book club that I host every month over on Patreon. We uh, have a Zoom chat to talk about it. I do a spoilery vlog of every book that we read. And I'm really excited to read an Agatha Christie. This is one of her favorite books. I was just listening today to this week's Currently Reading podcast. And one of the hosts just talked about this book. And she said it's her second favorite Agatha Christie ever. And she has read a lot of them. So I'm very excited <laughs> to get into this one. All I know is Roger Ackroyd and Hercule Poirot are friends. Hercule Poirot has retired. But then Roger Ackroyd gets murdered. And Poirot comes out of retirement to solve the murder. That's all I need to know. I'm excited to read a murder mystery. Fun. The next two are pretty high in priority because I'm doing these as buddy reads. Many of you know I've been reading through the Keeper of the Lost Cities books with Amy's Bookish Life, I think is her new channel name. And this one is book six. It's Nightfall. They're huge, but they really get read quickly. This one feels bigger than the last couple have, so it's a little bit longer, but... I'm really excited to continue, especially after finishing book five and it left me on a cliffhanger. Ooh, I'm very eager to continue with this series. So, so good. Middle grade, fantasy, so good. Then the next buddy read I have is one of my five star predictions, which I told myself I have until the end of March to read. So I'm glad to be working my way through those. And this is Codename Helene, which is also a chunker. This is by Ariel Lahan. And I'm going to be reading this with Berna from Berna's Bookish Adventures, my Turkish friend. I'm so excited to read another book with her. It's been a while. This one takes place in 1936. And we follow a real life woman, Nancy, who at the very beginning of the war, she gets married. She's a journalist. She's young and free spirited. But no sooner does she get swept off, her, swept off her feet and marries her husband than the Germans invade France and Nancy takes on another name, a code name. So I believe the structure of this is going to kind of follow each like different stories from the four different code names that this woman had throughout the war. So it's a female spy true, based on a true story. I just think it's going to be so interesting and so good. And I'm really looking forward to reading another book with Berna. So yay. Yay for that one. Next in the levels of priority <laughs> are my patron picks for January and February. Because of the holidays, I did not have them pick a book for me at the end of December. So I had them do it in January. And the book that I chose from that is Sparks Like Stars by Nadia Hashimi. I've heard a lot of praise for this one. But look, guys, it's another chunker. What am I doing to myself? <laughs> I'm really excited to revisit Afghanistan. I have read books by uh, Khalid Husseini, who writes books set in Afghanistan. And this also is going to be an, about an Afghan woman who, when she was very young, something happens in her hometown that was super dangerous. She gets smuggled out by one of the soldiers, gets adopted by an American embassy, a woman at the American embassy, and goes to America. And this is um, tells the story of when she comes back home to Afghanistan and learns the truth about what happened. And I just think that this sounds really good. I'm excited to read another book. Is the author Afghan American? Yeah. Her parents. Okay, so the, it's a own voices story. So Nadia Hashimi herself left Afghanistan in the 1970s, which is when, which is when our young protagonist left as well. 
Um, she left, though. Nadia left before the Soviet invasion. And I believe the Soviet invasion is what happens when our young protagonist gets sent away or smuggled away. Oh, listen to this. Bold, illuminating, heartbreaking, yet hopeful. Sparks Like Stars is a story of home, of America and Afghanistan, tragedy and survival, reinvention and remembrance, told in Nadia's singular voice. Ah, oh, really excited for that. Really excited. Such a good pick. The other, and then the next patron pick is my pick for actual February. It's a middle grade, Born Behind Bars by Padma Venkatraman, Venkatraman, who is herself Indian American. So another own voices story about an Indian American family. Kabir has been in jail since the day he was born because his mom is serving time for a crime she didn't commit. Their cellmates are his only friends and he's never even met his dad. The one place he feels a little bit free is the prison classroom where his teacher delights him with the stories of the outside world's wonders. When the new warden announces that Kabir is too old to stay, he's suddenly released without his mom to fend for himself on the city streets of Chennai. Fortunately, Rani and another street kid takes him under her wing and helps him eke out a living, even sharing the tree that she calls home. Plotting their future is difficult and dangerous in a world that doesn't value low caste kids like them. But Ronnie has enough confidence for two, plus a trusty slingshot that comes in handy for hunting meals and handling bullies. I'm excited about this. I think that it's going to be really good. Oof. Okay, the last, oh no, not the last. <laughs> the next two books are the ones that got chosen for the booktube spin. One of them I'm actually in the middle of. I've talked about these a couple times. Voyager is the third in the Outlander series. I'm farther than this. I think I have 25 hours left on the audiobook, so I definitely will finish it in February. But this is a carryover from January and I'm still really enjoying it. The other booktube spin picked was... The Love Story of Missy Carmichael by Beth Morey. I would love to get to this one because it is one of my Christmas book exchange books. So that would help me towards that goal for the year as well. And this is kind of a curmudgeon story. An elderly woman who's a bit cranky is our main character. And I think the neighbors and the neighbor's dog kind of break, break through her shell a little bit and help her to find some friendship in her older years. I'm really excited really excited for that one. The final three that I'm kind of keeping out, this is like the shelf where I keep all of the books I'm reading or wanting to read. And so these three are going to be on that shelf as well. I just pulled off a love story by Jenny Colgan that is, I feel like, possibly where I'm going to feel like reading in February. Uh, but it's also a final book in a trilogy. So it would knock off one of my series that I'm working on. So this is 500 Miles from You by Jenny Colgan. It's the third book in the um, bookshop on the shore, bookshop on the sea, like bookshop, the bookshop on the corner, and then the bookshop on the shore, and then this one, 500 Miles from You. So the Scottish Bookshop series, I think is what it's called. But um, I don't really know anything about this. I think it's going to be a companion, and I think we're going to follow one of the people that had been mentioned in the earlier books. So I'm excited for that one, but we'll see if I get to it. And then the other two are my last two uh, five-star prediction books that I really, really, really want to read. What the Wind Knows by Amy Harmon has been on so many TBRs or in my mind at the, at the top of my want to read pile. I just know I'm going to love it. And then The Lost Man by Jane Harper is my final five-star prediction. So if I don't get to these two in February, they will be on my March TBR, but I just want to read middle grade as much as possible in March. So I'm hoping to get to these two in February. So we'll see. So these are kind of like, maybe we'll see about them. So they're going to be a little separate. So those will go over here. And then my big pile here <laughs> will go behind me. But so I have two books from the booktube spin, two books for my patron pick, two body reads, <laughs> and then two kind of book club type books. So eight doesn't seem like that much. Although I'm trying to keep myself at 10 books a month. So we'll see. So here is the stack of 10. Eight. Here's the stack of eight books. So there they are. <laughs> it's, it feels like a pretty aggressive TBR, but I think I can do it. Sadly, <laughs> not sadly, but I am shortly going to be sharing with you a video of all the books I have checked out from the library right now, which I'm also very excited to read. So who knows what's going to happen to some of these. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in February, but here's my pile of possibilities <laughs> for the month. I would love to hear what is one or two books that you are most excited about reading in February. 
Have you heard about any of these? Do you think I'm going to love them or not like them? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Let's talk about these books or your books or anything you want to talk about. I love talking with you in the comments. And that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I'll be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.